Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Had a little frog stuck in my throat there. <laughs> Sorry, feeling a little, a little silly today. Um, definitely feeling much better if you've watched the previous videos. You will know that I've been fighting a cold for like three friggin' weeks. What is going on with my hair? Anyway, um, if you're watching on YouTube, the reason I'm talking to the camera and waiting and stalling is because I, um, I'm doing Facebook Live when I do my coffee talk messages every Monday. Um, so, yeah. I'm just chilling. Oh, look, it's 11-11 here in New Jersey. It's 11-11. Perfect angel number. Perfect angel number. I'll drink some coffee to that. So... I am just gonna chill, wait a few minutes to see if anybody joins, and uh, yeah, and then I'll get into your spiritual guidance for the week. What a spiritual day it is. It is also December 12th, 2022. Lots of energies around that. I will um, read what the number 12 means from an angel number book that I have as well. Um, and see if that brings you any kind of additional messages. The number 12 is a very powerful number. Now, I don't claim to be a numerologist or really a numbers person. I just look them up when I feel called to because sometimes the meaning of the numbers that you see constantly or the day or whatever it is will have a special meaning for you. So, I'm still a little nasally, but not as bad as I was. Thank you you god right what's going on with this hair come on i think i need a haircut it's like <laughs> whatever it is what it is so <clears throat> let's see let's see let's see oh i'm excited for the holiday excited for christmas i cannot wait i'm trying to come up with a giveaway of some sorts so uh if I do, I'll let you know. Probably next next week. Um, yeah, I have so many ideas. I just don't know which one to do. I can't do them all. Can't do them all. You know. So, um, I'm just talking because I want to see if anybody comes on. I want to see if anyone comes on to say hi. Let me just check because sometimes I know... Facebook doesn't tell me that people are on. Oops. Yeah. I'm not seeing it. So. All right. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. So let me start with introducing myself. My name is Cheryl, the healing dancer. If you're hopping on, say hello. I am Cheryl the Healing Dancer and this is Coffee Talk Messages where I go live in my Facebook group and then post it on YouTube um, with your spiritual guidance for the week. I will pull a card or cards. Usually it's an oracle card and an affirmation type card and give you guidance for your week or whenever you're seeing this. And like I just said, this is 1212. It's a special day energetically. Again, I don't claim to be a numerologist or know much about numbers, but I will read from my angel book what the number 12 means, um, at least according to that book. So, um, I am an angel guide and an energy healer slash worker. I am the creator and facilitator of Divinity in Motion classes and events. I have a Healing Through Dance Zoom class tomorrow night, Tuesday, December 13th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can find the link to sign up in all of my social medias like Instagram and Facebook, mostly on Facebook. Um, and my Angelic Reiki and Readings event this month is on Thursday, <laughs> December 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, any of my events, workshops, classes, you can always find that information um, on my Facebook, on the Instagram. That's where the 
most up-to-date information will be. And you can always go to my website at www.divinityinmotion.net. Um, I think that's it. Uh, on my Facebook page, on my group, um, which you can find the link to that if you're watching on YouTube. Um, those of you that are on live or in my group, <laughs> I am also selling self-love candles. And let me see if I can get one of these without making a mess. So I have these beautiful heart necklaces for $5, $5. So, I have those, and then I'll show you real quick if I can get one of these without making a mess. This is the 8-ounce self-love candles. So, this is what it looks like. It's an 8-ounce self-love candle. And then it has rose quartz. There's rose quartz in here, too, at the bottom, bigger chunks. And then rose quartz and rose petals, dried rose petals. And then... Mm, it smells so good. It's made with lavender essential oil. The eight ounces are $15. <laughs> and the four ounces are $10. I also have some votive size left. Those are $5. And I have like little wine ones, which I'm burning right now. Wine, little mini wine glasses. These are... Um, $7. I have to think about it. <laughs> so anyway, those are posted on my Facebook. So if you're watching, I'm sorry if you're commenting. I'm not seeing any comments coming through. I do see that two people are watching. Let me just look it up real quick. I'll get right into, um, right into the message in a few seconds. I see Katie say good morning. Good morning, Katie. It's not coming up on my feed for some reason on my phone right here. So, all right, let's get into what our guidance is for the week. Let me take a sip of coffee. Um, today, I'm going to use the Soul Journey Lesson Cards by James Van Praag. I, ho I hope I say his name right. It's been a while since I've used these cards. I absolutely love them. So let's do a little shuffle, and then after this, I'll pull an affirmation card. All right. Sorry, my hair is getting on my nerves. All right, Angel's Guide. And God, what message do you have for all of us today? What is it that we need to know for the week? This one needs to come out. Okay. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. So there's a mantra or an affirmation for you right there. Don't worry, I'm going to pull another card as well. And I will read the about the number 12. So we have doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. So before, sorry, <laughs> before I read you what's in the book, let's just tap into this message here. So there's doubt coming up for some of you around certain situations. And the doubt comes from feeling like you don't know everything that you need to know. Imposter syndrome's coming up. Like if you are trying to build a business, if you are in the process of building a business, if you are a healer, if you are a teacher, if you are whatever you are, doubt comes up around doing the thing that you wanna do because you feel like you're being an imposter and you don't know everything there is to know, or you think you don't know there's everything that you need to know about that. Let that shit go. Let it go. Do it anyway. If you love it, do it. Do it. Work through the doubt. Call on Archangel Michael as well. Archangel Michael is great in working with people when it comes to doubt. So he's not just a protector, but he also likes to protect protect you from your own doubt, from your own imposter syndrome. So when you start doubting yourself, call in Archangel Michael to help you with that. And you don't need to know all of the answers. You do not need to know exactly 
how it's going to pan out for you, exactly how it's going to work out for you. All you need to know is that it will work out the way that it is supposed to. And don't worry about it working out the way it is supposed to, because if it is meant to be, it will happen. It just might not happen the exact way that you imagine or expect it to. Just be open. Just be open. Okay, let's, let's see what the book says. <clears throat> Where are you at? Where are you at? There we are. Okay. It's impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe. You are only consciously aware of the three dimensions for a reason, and that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit. Everyone has his or hers, his or her own personal path to this awareness, and there is no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and compassion. The wisdom of the divine trickles into the physical dimension, and some of it will resonate with your soul, and some will not. These are your signposts that guide you to your correct path. If the wisdom resonates with you and seems right, then keep it. If not, release it back to the universe. Always be aware and mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers put on your path. So, just be open. Just be open. And when you know something in your heart and that doubt starts to come up, just remember that it comes up because you're afraid of the outcome and you're afraid to move forward. Don't let it. Don't let it derail you. All right, so we got doubt. Let me go. I want to do this angel number because I feel like it's going to coincide with it. Hold on. All right, so the angel number, so this is the book that I'm using. I love this book. There's also a, a great book by Kyle Gray, but I'm using the angel number book by Mystic Michaela. I think I'm saying that right. So the number 12 means support. When you take the next step, you are not alone. Life has sent you new opportunities, and now is the time to embrace them with the faith that you will be supported the things that come your way are for your highest good. Reflect on how you've been helped by unseen forces in your life. Sit in the profound realization of how support comes in many forms. So we're in the 12th month, 12th day. Just do some reflection on how you are supported by the spirit, by the angels, by unborn, unborn by unseen forces. You are supported. You are loved. They are here with you. You are one with them. And again, be open to new opportunities that are coming your way. All right, let's do an affirmation card. Be you, do you, for you, from Lamar. These are the cards that I'm using. Yeah, the Lamar. I never knew who they who exactly it's by. Where, where did they go? Here they are. <laughs> All right. What is our affirmation for the week? Besides the one that I already talked about doubt. <laughs> All right. This one just came up for me recently too. You can't make this shit up. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. Ooh. The universe totally support, supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. The universe supports every thought you choose to think and believe. So if you are doubting yourself and believing that you are not good enough or you don't know what you're doing, the universe is going to support that. So change your thoughts. You know what you're doing. You know. And even if you don't know every friggin' thing there is to know about it, you still have time to continue to learn and improve 
Never stop learning, never stop taking courses, never stop taking classes, never stop learning. But you're ready now. So put those thoughts in your mind. That I can do this. I am worthy. I am enough. I am amazing where I am right now. The universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and to believe. Believe in yourself. You do not need others to believe in you. I believe in you. Just throwing that out there but you don't need me to believe in you. You are the only one that needs to believe in yourself. So do whatever you need to do to believe in yourself and get the stupid doubt out. Doubt out. It's out. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that is it for this week. I hope you all have an amazing day, afternoon, night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this and uh, a blessed week. And um, keep dancing your dance. That's all I can say. Is just keep doing you. Keep dancing your dance. And I will see you all soon. Love you. Bye.